hello. I am enjoying the beautiful weather. Fall has arrived in North Carolina. This video is about when are you taking it too far? So I made a video about identifying your idols a couple videos ago. This is really just about when you are going through a health crisis, it's good to make changes for your health, but how far is too far? When does it become an idol? For me, I knew that the ketogenic diet had become an idol when I was trusting it more than God himself. It was plain and simple, this is an idol. And it took me a long time to even realize that and surrender to the Lord when he pulled on my heartstrings and called me to surrender that and to surrender a lot of other things that were my means and methods of feeling like I was in control, like tracking my glucose and ketones and things like that. How do you know, you know, when it's too far? How do you know when you're fighting too much in your own strength and not relying on God? I really don't think there's a black and white answer, just like many things pertaining to health and life and everything. There are few black and white answers, in my opinion. It really depends on the heart. God sees your heart. So say someone is dealing with mold toxicity. There are lots of different means to and protocols to dealing with mold toxicity. Someone might um, do the shoemaker protocol. Someone might use food as medicine. Someone might move to the desert and live in a tent to avoid all mold. Who's right? I'm not going to talk about mold toxicity, but I'm going to talk about the heart of the matter. If you find yourself moving from state to state and uh, location to location and you find yourself never at a place of rest, almost at a place of like almost constantly on the verge of a panic attack, constantly heightened cortisol, flight, fight, fight, flight mode, freeze mode. If you find yourself making decisions out of fear, those are red flags. The Lord wants you making decisions from a place of faith. In the word, it says that the spirit, God gives us a spirit, not of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Are you making your decisions or are you spending most of your mental thought life in a state of power, love, and a sound mind? Or are you spending more of that time from a place of fear? Are you making more decisions from a place of fear? I see a lot of people making decisions from a place of fear, almost like they're running from their problems, almost like, oh, I can never catch up. There's always something wrong. Once I address one thing, there's always something else. There's another diagnosis. I started taking supplements to combat this symptom, but then this symptom started. And you're just always, always, always just barely keeping your head above water. That's where I was for a long time. And that's a sign that you are fighting in your own strength. You're missing a big point. That's when I say you've taken it too far. That's when I say you would be better off taking a deep breath and taking a break from consulting with health professionals and listening to health podcasts and doing IV therapies and doing all the biohacks. You would be better off taking a break from those and spending time in God's word and getting your mind and your heart set with a firm foundation of faith and hope that would be much better for you because your central nervous system over here is going haywire. I don't even think you can really take advantage of the benefits of many uh, biohacks and nutritional changes and protocols if your central nervous system is always wound up and stuck in a place of fear or fight mode or flight mode or freeze mode. You can only get so far and the devil knows it. He likes to keep you afraid. He wants you to live from a place of fear when truly your Abba Father is taking care of you. He provides for all that you need. He has already provided for all that we need. It's just that we need to realize it and we need to start walking in the authority that we have in Christ. We need to start making decisions from a place of authority and confidence and faith. And if you don't have those, then my recommendation is actually to wait. I want you to wait on God. Be still. Wait until you hear from him. Stop fighting in your own strength. Stop being 10 steps ahead of yourself. You are not going to get anywhere fruitful like that. It just, you, you can't combine the two. You can't combine fear and a million different things, even if these are good things. Just like the ketogenic diet for me was, it's a very good thing, but it became an idol and it kept me in a place of bondage. And so I had to surrender my idol. And when I did that, I had the ability to use my critical thinking skills and, and um, 
I was able to move forward from a place of confidence, uh, from a place of I don't have to know what it looks like every step of the way. All I know is that God's got my back. Everything just came together so much easier. I was able to enjoy the process. I was able to walk by faith and not by fear. So that's when you know it's gone too far. The title of this video is going to be called, When Has It Gone Too Far? That's how you know when you're making decisions out of fear and not faith. Thank you.